Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 80. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. 58th time she's been on. Introduce yourself to the audience again. Hey, y'all. It's, I'm just Jackie. Hey, one half of the illustrious Let's Keep It 100. Boop. It's your turn, Nicole. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My bad. It's the other half of the illustrious uh, Let's Keep It 100 podcast. I am uh, Nicole Banks. Copy that. We're going to dive into the ladies in a second, but you know we got to hit the rundown. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. Tuesdays, 2 o'clock on the GFT Radio Network. Wednesdays is 216 to blend. It is now 12 midnight, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. They love me so much that they had to throw me on again. Uh, Thursdays, WTNUPhilly.com at 1230. Friday, I say podcast radio network, 10 a.m. And Saturday, THC Media at 10 a.m. Sundays, we still looking to fill in them Sunday slots. Get with me. We need to finish out the week strong on a Sunday. Now, Instagram is H2H Cleaners, my cleaning company on Instagram only. You follow me on Instagram at H2H Cleaning. We do roofing, plumbing, uh, HVAC. Flooring, carpeting, cleanouts, cleanups, you name it, we can make it happen. Uh, and also, Custom Hustle is my clothing line, Custom Hustle World on Instagram. This is a Custom Hustle jersey that I have on right now. Uh, custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jackets, jerseys, t shirts, sweatsuits, you name it, we can make it happen. And we have the baby clothes available as well. Uh, basketball and hockey jerseys are now in as well. Get at me and we can make it happen. Now, episode 80. Got my girl Jackie in the building for the 30, 38th time, like I said, and Miss Nicole making her first appearance. This is like a part two kind of an episode I did with the guys from Sports For You. Shouts out to them. Uh, why don't? Why do you need a man? We're looking for all positive feedback today, <laughs> ladies. We do not need to know why I don't like that nigga because of this, that, or whatever. We are looking solely for the, the positivity of why it is that you need that man. Jackie, since we've had you on a thousand times, we're going to start with Nicole. Why do you need a man, Miss Nicole? That, wow, that question is super loaded. First of all, are we, is this going to be like video? Because I need to know like if my expressions are going to be showing Absolutely. as well. Every Monday, 2 p.m. on the Eat Black Radio Network, they will play oh, video. video. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. We've, I would have we've, dressed we've, totally we've been, different if I knew this was going to be video. But that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you, you good. Um, why? So, oh yeah, that so that question is super loaded. Um, I don't necessarily agree with it, not in like a negative way or anything like that, but I don't necessarily feel like I need um, a man. A man would be a very good um, addition to my life, but I really don't feel like I need a man, um, like at all in my life. You don't feel as though there's any different aspects of the, your life that it's like, I, this is why I need him. Not so much to complete me type of thing, but like, mm -hmm. all right, for example, let's go, let's go back to my answer for on why do you need a woman? For mm -hmm. me, it's like, I need my wife to handle all those things that just, I'm not, I can't do. I can't be dealing with kids all day, every day, homework. And I got two daughters, homework, hair. All of that type right. of thing. This can't happen. Just me. I need her for this. Household task. I can't do... I can't. It's not that I can't do these things. I don't want to do them. I'm never doing the dishes. The dishes will never happen if it's just me. <laughs> Before we got married, if she wasn't over for three, four days, those forks will be in this sink. I'm going to use these paper <laughs> plates so we can throw those out. But like these cups might... The cups will be here. These forks will be here. She going to say, well, but he wasn't even here though, Hank. But you knew I wasn't doing them though. Shouts out to having a dishwasher until I was 25. But <laughs> like, so for me, it's like I need her for obviously, you know, companionship and, you know, all of those type of things. Those kind of go without saying, but right. I need her to be able to handle the other half that I can't do. Because my whole thing is we all have a hundred. It's a 50 50 job 
as far as the relationship working. That don't mean we mm-hmm. split the cable bill, but that means we both got to put in an equal amount to make this relationship work. So what is it about that that you believe I need the man for what? So I think because maybe because I'm in a dif- different position in my life right now than you are. So like, I don't have young children, you know what I mean? Um, I'm only responsible for myself now. My children are adults, so I'm not necessarily responsible for them. So everything that happens in my life today, it's basically like my domain. I'm r- only responsible for me. So when I get up in the morning, the way I want to leave my house, it doesn't matter. When I get up and go to work, I take care of work. I'm only responsible for work for, you know, at at that time, like that time period. And then after work, I'm again, just responsible for me. So I don't really necessarily like companionship. Like I said, that's why I said it would be a nice addition because I really, the only thing that's missing in my life right now is companionship, but that doesn't even need to be fulfilled with a man. I can fill that with family, with friends, with, you know, things like that. So that's why I'm saying it. When you say like need, need is the part that's, throwing me off I, I it would be nice to have a man as an addition to what I have going on in my life already but I absolutely do not need a man in my life because I'm very like responsible and complete um, walk me, myself okay, so walk so walk me that's me semantics here walk me through those semantics then what would it be nice to have a man in your life to do like complete that sentence for me then like it would be nice if I had a man for uh, sexually and um, again just the companionship part and so and that's why I say like companionship in that the mm, I guess whatever the difference is between having like a friend in your life and like a romantic partner in your life so the romance is what's missing so really in my life again right now that would be the only thing that a man could um, bring into my life right now the romantic part other than that the need is just not there. Okay. So you don't think romance is a big thing though? It is, but it's not a need. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jackie, if you're nasty. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not nasty. We retired that. Listen, <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, piggybacking a little bit off of Nicole. I, I'm, I'm definitely in a different place in life. I don't have the responsibility of raising kids anymore I, it's literally just me here in this home by myself period so I'm going to say this what I need a man for is going to be the little things that Jackie don't want to do I, I wish I had a man to make sure that my gas tank is full I ain't I don't I don't got to pump no gas Something's broke down in the house or something needs to be moved around or whatever. I would rather have my companion to take care of it instead of me having to call a freaking handyman service or whatever like that. I want a man for the companionship. It's not a need because at this point in my life, I have adjusted to the point where I'm old enough for my my needs and wants not to hurt me you know what i'm saying so i have adapted my life to where i'm single and i don't have that companionship around me 24 hours a day or whatever you want to call it so it's a nice want i miss it i miss you know having the, those type of conversations with a companion going to do the things with companions hanging out i ain't gonna say romance or whatever we can call it romance but just the the ideal of having a relationship, you know, with a person. So I want it, but is it a need? It's not a physical need for me. Does, does that make sense? All right. So basically, uh, what this sounds like to me is it's like uh, hmm, y'all kind of got to the point where it's like, I'm kind of stuck in this way that I am. And I know that if I bring anything else into it, it could rock the foundation of my world. And I'm done with it. I'm done with my world being rocked. No, I'm done with no, no. Wasting the time and energy no. that it takes to put into this. Is that what this is? No, don't do that. Wow, no, you no. done added a whole no, bunch you done changed the whole subject. Hold on, Mike. Let me say this go. right. No, no, Come no, on no. now. No, 
no, Let's I'm go. stopping you. I'm, I got to stop it. I got to stop it because that's not what it is. I'm, I'm not so complacent and and used to this this world I have created for myself right now to the point where I'm not willing to let somebody in to alter it positively. Okay, so no. <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, you done had you done he done added in a whole like another scenario to so the day. That's what I'm, <laughs> I mean what, what I'm saying that's why I'm this is why we have this is what we do here. Let's let's create that let's have that conversation. Cause I'm trying to I'm trying to have it to the point where we always talk about like guys always have to explain why they want the woman. Mm-hmm. Nobody gets because we have too many niggas playing too many games, like if we're gonna be real about it. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever gives you this is why the woman is saying that she needs you because they've been getting too many niggas that's been playing. So that's why I said to me, when, what it sounds like is y'all have both gotten to a point where I got enough stability in my life and I know that this shit comes with too much games. It comes with too much to be played with. And I'm not at a point where I'm looking to play anymore. I'm at a point mm-hmm. where shit is stable, shit is calm. And I know if I bring your goofy ass in here, you're going to come in and do something stupid. And at this point, I don't really need you for anything other than, you know, Jack Jackie said, those little those little things which can be the big things. If you hot water to hit tank bus and you don't know how to fix this motherfucker, mm-hmm. something's really wrong with the toilet and you really can't fix it type of thing. Like those things can be small or they could be mm-hmm. big because they turn into right. bigger bills later on if you don't really get that shit fixed. I'll be honest with you, I don't even want to call the home warranty people. I wish I did have my companion or man or husband or whatever to take care of all of those repairs and fixes and stuff because that's something I don't even want to I don't even want to do not that I can't do it I don't want I don't want to see that's why that's why I, that's what I said I can wash my own clothes mm-hmm. dishes and all of that I don't want to mm-hmm. like I don't want to have to separate these colors and whites and shit because when mm-hmm. I used to wash my own clothes everything's going in together as much shit as you can fit in the washing machine mm-hmm. I don't fuck if it's white red pink purple yeah, we can put it all in there. Who gives yeah. a fuck? And my thing is, I'm single. Like, you know, me and Nicole are single. We're not married. You know, we're not no type of monogamous, serious relationship or nothing. Like, like I'm not even dating. I ain't doing nothing. I can't speak for Nicole, but I ain't even dating. So that's the, that's the question. Like, I'm at, at this point, I'm single and... This, my, this is my, these are my wants and these are my needs because at, at this point, I'm single and I'm adjusting to this single life that I I am in. Why am I single? I am single because I for one I ain't looking, but at the end of the day, just like you said, if I let some jokester in that ain't even worthy, you're you're disturbing my peace and my world that I created that I'm very happy with at this point in my life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if I let you in, I let you in, but I honestly I ain't looking for nobody right now, to be honest with you. So I don't yeah, so so for me it's not so much about like okay, well, because of all these negative things that may have happened in the past that that's why I feel the way that I feel now. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily that. It's just um again, I think because like I think because we're older, like I'm I'm 46. So I think because I'm in the position that I'm in in my life right now, it, it's very easy for me to see what my wants and what my needs are. And Mm -hmm. if it's something as, like you said, simple as, you know, something that I don't want to do in my life, like, you know, a light bulb that needs to be changed or like a boiler or something that's out. I don't necessarily, I mean, I can pay for somebody to fix that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, So I think that it would take like a lot for a person to show up in my life and show me the benefit of, of adding them to my life. You know what I'm saying? It's not just because like, you're a man and you know you look good and you're here that that would not be enough because my life is I'm not going to stay complete but like I'm stable you know what I'm saying I don't have many like needs anymore in my life you know what I'm saying so for somebody to show up like you would have to show me that you are going to be like a huge addition a plus a benefit to my life for me to even add you in now, and, and what I'm trying to express also is I, I may not even necessarily know right now as we're speaking what that benefit is, mm-hmm. because right now, as I'm speaking, I'm saying to you, I don't have many needs, Ooh, you know, you I have like wants, <laughs> but I don't have many <laughs> needs. So you would have a person would have to come into my life, show me some type of benefit that maybe right now I'm not even thinking about. Mm-hmm. And that's why they would be added to my life. 
I was about to say, show me something that I didn't even know I needed. You know what I mean? So, so that's just, that's what it would have to be going. right now. Nicole kind of killed me because this is where I was going. I was I was driving us right then, and she smashed the damn car. That's why we only got one steering wheel in the front. Um, all right. So would y'all would y'all both say that y'all would be open to allowing somebody to come into your world to show you that this is what you would need me for? Maybe it's something there that you don't even recognize. Like, oh damn, I never even knew that that was out there. I didn't even think about that because a lot of times, like. Jackie could say something to you to use y'all as an example. Jackie could say something to you like, shit, I never even thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. I've been so stuck in my ways looking at it this way that shit, I didn't even think like, you know, that you could just pour a little mayonnaise in it and it will soften it right Mm -hmm. up. Like, so is it one of those things where y'all will be open to the idea? I'm, I'm always open to the idea. It's just the fact that man, (laughs) Let me tell you something. COVID has changed a lot of stuff. It's changed a lot of how a lot of ways how people meet and greet and Mm -hmm. interact and all that stuff. I'm I'm 48. I love I I just love the um the natural what's the word I'm looking for? Chemistry. Yeah, or you know, like if I'm at the grocery store and I bump into somebody like organic. Yeah, or you like to meet somebody in an organic situation. Yeah, I miss the organic situations. Mm -hmm. I miss meeting people. So for me, it's today today is all about the dating apps, the dating apps and apps this I I've I've tried it. I'm I'm not a fan, you know, and at this point I miss organic and it's going to happen. It's going to happen for me when it's supposed to happen for me. But see, see what you're saying right there, this touches on the last time we had you on. Uh, mm-hmm. When we was talking about people putting out a certain perception on social media, but mm-hmm. that's not what the reality is. That's why I would never be able to mess with like a dating app because it would be like, you could be anything. I could be an mm-hmm. astronaut from Mississippi on this app. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> when you meet me, it's a totally different situation. So it would have to be like an organic set and belay. Like you saying, these last couple of years with ain't no, the bars are shut down. You can only be in here at 20 feet away. And now you got on the mask. You can't really tell if she was light skin or dark skin. Like, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Can't. Like, yeah, this is, this is a problem here. Cause it ain't just like it's packed on a Friday. Like things is getting back that mm-hmm. way now, but they wasn't for so long. Mm-hmm. So could that even play a little bit of part in this that like we've been in a situation where You've been like the last couple of years, it just been like, all right, it just been me. And I got buckled down in this situation where having to be stuck in this house, or stuck in this place or that place with somebody is like, oh, I couldn't have imagined it. Because I was in the you house know- and my wife was pregnant. Then we had a baby and it was like we got the other one doing Zoom school. Like, I'm glad I wasn't like- in that situation. <laughs> You know what? I have a question for you, though, because I I think I feel like when you're asking me and Jackie this, um, it's kind of like you seeing it like in a negative way. And I want to know if you feel like a person can be happy, quote unquote, happy without having a partner. Absolutely. So me personally, I there's nobody you will ever meet in life that says, oh, yeah, I used to be high girl. The only girl I ever had in my life is my wife. Because I was the type of person who was, I love, shouts out to Bruce who was on the episode last week, which y'all are here. Uh, I love being with me. I loved my own time and alone time because I know that there's a lot of work that goes into relationships. There's a lot mm-hmm. of work and care that you have to have to deal with somebody else's emotions, feelings, thoughts, the way that they was raised, the way that they wasn't raised. To have to go through all of that shit, it takes a lot of love for you to have to have for the other individual to deal with all those things. Mm-hmm. And now you don't need to have like everybody, everybody doesn't score the same way. Like, so it's no one way for everything to work. The way that I raise my kids might not be the way that you raise your kids, but that don't mean that the kids can't also really be happy and grow into great mm-hmm. adults. So uh, if anybody who's listening to this hears it like that, that's not what I'm saying. What I, like I said, from the beginning, though, was we always have to have men explain why the woman is so great, but nobody ever explains why the man is so great or why you need them or why you want them, why you desire them. We always have to like belittle the guys 
mm-hmm. is my idea, which let's try to do this episode to build the guys up. Now, we got a lot of dudes who do nut shit who give us a bad name, just like we got a lot of women who do nut shit to give the women a bad name. Mm-hmm. We just got more on our side than y'all got, I would say. Yeah. I think so like, if you ask, that was my um, whole concept behind the episode and the idea. I think if you ask two women that might be like a decade or more behind Nicole and myself, you will definitely get different responses. Yeah, yeah, I you know think you're I mean? getting the answers that you're getting from us because of where we are, where we like are. in our life at this point. Yeah, where we are. I mean, if you like if you ask me, I don't know. 30 something Jackie, late 20s, 30 something Jackie. It the, the responses would definitely be different. I would be more into like, yeah, I I do need a man in my life for this, 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 this. But I I have lived some life. I've been divorced twice and here I am. I'm single, I'm stable, I'm secure. So some of the things when I was younger that I felt like I needed a man for at that time. I, that's not. I'm not. I'm not in a place where my my, my reasoning is the, is the same at this age because everything I thought I needed a man for when I was younger, I'm already doing it for myself right now. So honestly, what a man can bring to me is a little bit of balance. You know what I mean? Like a balance in with the companionship and relationship. That that's what a man can bring. I'm not gonna. You know, it ain't all about the dollar bill and all that stuff. For me, not anymore. see. Now I ain't gonna you, take care of your ass, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it. I need. Nah, that, that's, so, mm-hmm, that's so the you know, I need. See, so you know me, and you know that I gear all of the topics toward the guests. Mm-hmm. These topics are for you because you of who you are. I don't. I wanted to use y'all for this one because I know y'all got the life experiences and the things to compare to and to talk about. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to be like young, dumb, and I just had one relationship. He did me wrong. Oh my god! And I don't want mm-hmm. that. That's not the conversation that I'm looking to have. Okay. Yeah, because everybody's life is different. You could find two other women in their forties, fifties, sixties. You can, and everybody gonna give you different answers because everybody's right. had different experiences. Mm-hmm. But that's the reason that I want y'all on this episode. <laughs> It's because you got things to compare it to. Yeah. And it's not just, oh, yeah, that one dude from that time when I was in 12th grade. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I would hope not. Not at this big age. <laughs> yeah, now, if you're talking about the nigga from, 20, if from, you're talking about the nigga from 12th grade, then look, girl, you need to go make some things happen. Right. I would say go out there and risk the Rona. And, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. And hit that bar. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? The the men in, the men, um like, in our... I would say age bracket, maybe generation, whatever. Um, I think that, so I'll say this. I think that we, the women in my generation have evolved like a lot. And I think that the way that we think, the view that we have on life, um, you know, our openness to things and our evolution has changed maybe a little bit more than the men have been able to, right? Because I feel like the things that um, like I'm into now, the way that I think now about this life relationships and stuff like that, when I meet like men my age, it almost feels like they're kind of stuck um, like in the past, you know? So I feel like the, the way we are speaking right now is also like an evolution, you know what I mean? Because like maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, women would not be saying like, oh no, I'm good. I'm good being single. You know, I'm good being 46 year old, six year olds and not really needing a man in my life. You know what I mean? I, you may not have heard that like 40, 50 years ago. So I think that plays a part in it too. Like when we're saying like what we need, um, where we are in our life, what men can provide for us at this point in our life. Like why did, why would they be beneficial at this point in my life? You know what I mean? As we're talking, like I'm trying to think of um, reasons why Mm -hmm. a man would be beneficial in my life right now to maybe answer it that way instead of the other way that I was thinking about it. I don't think y'all like us, man. I don't think men like I was one, uh, like women at this point in this century. Y'all don't like us. And then I I, I want to know, what do y'all need us for? Because the only thing I heard y'all say y'all needed us for was the cook, clean, take care of these damn kids, cook the house. <laughs> I, I want you to say you need me for emotional st- stability. You know what I'm saying? I want you to need me emotionally, not just physically to take care of the bills and the house and the kids and make sure you got your meals on the table and all that stuff. And then y'all still want the women out here working eight, 12 hours a day, bringing in some of this bacon too. Like, I don't think y'all like us 
at this point. <laughs> Right, so I, think, I, can, I can't speak we, for these new age y'all, niggas. Technically, if you want to go back, 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 y'all men really didn't interact with the women until they wanted to lay it down and put it down and appropriate. That's what we was here for, just to appropriate. Okay, so I can't Jackie, speak for these new way, way back. <laughs> I can't speak for these new age niggas. Uh, so let's not have me confused with those guys. I'm not, <laughs> um, I'm not. Personally. I but I, I'm just saying, man, you know. Nah, yeah, copy. I, but this is why I'm. This why I just. I always try to throw disclaimers out there because it's like mm-hmm. I don't want. I don't want nobody who listening or is on the show to hear any of the things that I'm saying. Is like I'm sending it to you or you sending it to me. No, nah, mm-hmm. we having a discussion for everybody right. international. Right? This goes everywhere. Uh, me, I'll be like, I tell my wife like, I wish you didn't work. Because I don't want you to say, like, at once we get to a point of marriage, commitment to each other, it's like job one is now me being a husband, you being a wife, and us making sure our household is fine. I don't ever want you to tell me you can't do something in the house because you're tired because you went to work and do something for somebody else. Like, so that's my whole thing. So it's like, yeah, if you don't want to work, great. I don't want you to work. I'm. We do not promote the 50-50 lifestyle over here at the How to Hustle podcast. Gas bill eighty dollars, and I'm telling you, I got forty. No, nah, we ain't doing that. That's not happening. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't know how that happened. Now, how we got to the situation where marriage wasn't the goal anymore, or like being in these monogamous relationships wasn't the goal anymore, is because people continue to glorify. Like, look, I'm out here doing whatever the fuck I want to do, and that went from the one generation of these motherfuckers was too young to be having kids. To the next generation was too young to be having the kids. So nobody got to the point where they were glorifying, look how long grandma and grandpa been together. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing about grandma and grandpa is you have no idea what it took for them to get to 57 years to mm-hmm. be together. You can't just look at these two old ass people in this chair and think, oh, they just so happy because they were 25. They were 35. They mm-hmm. were 45. Mm-hmm. They've been through some things, but you have to also understand that life ain't easy and that it ain't always just going to be rainbows and kittens. Things are going to be fucked up. Just like you said, the evolution that you've gone through from your 20s, your 30s and your 40s, we all go through that type of evolution. But you have to recognize that you're doing it. Most dudes right. can't have those type of conversations and don't understand those things. And a lot of people waste 20 birthdays between 25 and 45. And that nigga never grew up. He just got older because his birthday just happened to keep it kept happened to be March 13th. So he just kept getting older. He didn't get no wiser. He didn't grow. He just wasted 20 years doing nothing. And you got a lot of them situations where people can't express what they're saying and what they're feeling and all that. Now, like Jackie is saying, you want to be there to be the emotional support and all of that. Copy if that's the type of dude you are. But like for me, I'm like the hey, if something's wrong, everybody's calling hype. So mm-hmm. when you're the helper, nobody helps the helper. Mm-hmm. But me as the helper, it's like I don't even know how to ask you for no help. Mm-hmm. So it's like if I get to a state or a point of it's like I need to talk about this or whatever, I could talk to my wife about it, but it ain't gonna be like I need the emotional crutch type of thing. Mm-hmm. Probably because my mom was like that where. She didn't need the emotional crutch. Her and my dad wasn't like, again, in front of me, I don't Mm -hmm. don't know what it took for them to be together from 1960 something until my dad passed in 09. So just the 22 years that I was there, it was like, there was never this like emotional crutch type of thing, which I understand some people need that. See that, see, I didn't say crutch. You called it a crutch. Okay, not even copy because let me not twist the words Uh some people though need an emotional crush because some people are more emotional than others so if you're the type of guy or girl who is emotional and it's like i'm always need to express my feelings i'm constantly needing to be reassured i'm constantly needing to be that get that pat on the back type of thing some people are like that that's what that's what you picked up when i put that down but that's not what i was putting down give it to me again then Okay, so I didn't say emotional support or anything because going piggybacking off of what you said you need from a woman. Any woman can give that to you. Any woman can take care of your house, raise your kids, cook for you, clean for you, all that stuff you pay the bills, whatever you said you wanted your wife to do, any woman can do that for you. Is every woman going to open up to you emotionally? Is every man going to open up to you emotionally? To get so you can see the vulnerability of each other. It's 
Where's the emotional connection? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to be you have to be strong enough to be weak around each other and for each other. Cause you gotta understand that every situation doesn't account for you to be so err, uh, whether mm-hmm. that's the guy or the girl. Mm-hmm. At some point, I, I get it, but what point, I'm saying is like, some men don't want some men can't even offer there are men out there that can't even offer that to me. If you can't offer that to me, you you're not even gonna make it off of the batting, the batting plate. I mean, if you can't offer the complete package, then there's no reason for me to be there. Mm-hmm. If there's anything that I need to go, if me and you together, Jackie, and there's anything that I need to go to Nicole for, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. Exactly. If there's anything that is like, I can't get that from her because she just ain't that type of, then we got a problem and we need to address that. Yeah. The problem is people don't be wanting to address that shit and have those hard conversations. But what people I really want to know is uncomfortable conversations. What do y'all expect us to say, though? What do y'all expect women to say we need a man for? That's the real question. Because I just want to know what the what the men expect. But I, I think know. that 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 thing. I'm sorry to cut you off. I think that that I think people don't realize that that is literally can be different from person to person yeah. to person. And it I think is. people need to actually listen because again, if Jackie is saying I have this, 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 and this set up in my life. And what I need in my life is somebody that's going to provide emotional support, then that's all that she's going to be looking for. And that's all that that person really needs to be providing. She didn't say she needs somebody to fix this, fix that, pay for this, pay for that. So you're going to, if that's how you show your love and you giving her all of that, it, it kind of almost doesn't matter if what she said she needs is somebody to provide mm-hmm. emotional support. So I think that is different for every single person. Like I said, I'm looking for like romance in my life. So if you come into my life and you come into my house and you see that, you know, this is out the way, that is out the way, mm-hmm. and that's how you provide and da, da 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 that's all fine and good. But if that's not what I needed or was looking for, to me, it may not even matter. So I think it's different for every single person. Mm-hmm. I think people just need to be like open and like aware and available and listening. Like this is what this person said they needed. Yeah. You definitely need like it, everything. Yeah, everything is always different from person to person because like everybody, everybody's experiences is different. So again, people need to have them conversations though. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I said from the be- like I said, I never, I always stated this to girls. If I met Nicole at the bar, I would let Nicole know. Probably, let's see, it's today. We met on Saturday night, so on like Monday, Tuesday when we talk, I'm letting Nicole know. Look, I don't want no girl. You're not going to be my girl, and this is mm-hmm. not going to go anywhere else. And if that's what you're looking for, I'm not the guy for you. Mm-hmm. You want to be cool. You're looking for a little companionship. We can go out. We can talk. And all of that's fine. But like, we ain't in no relationship. Mm-hmm. You need to establish what it is that you want and stick on it. Don't just say some shit that sounds cool just because, oh, she really right. is cute. He really yeah. is this. If this is what you're looking for, a guy that is going to give you the emotional support that you need, then you need to go looking for that kind of guy. If you don't like girls that's at the bar, why the fuck are you in the bar cracking them? Hello. <laughs> like, Hello. If you're looking for a church girl, why are you in the bar? Hello. If you're looking for a hood joint, why are you at church? Like, right. I mean, not to say that those, not to say that those things can't, you know, intertwine, but right. if you set the standard that this is what you want and this is what you need, then you need to go to things that are necessary for you to get it. Which is like I said, I I look. When I met you, they told you that this is what it was. Mm-hmm. Just because you like me, I can't control who likes me. I will always say that. I got nothing to do with that. But I told you and understand. We established this from the rip. This ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Like, and listen. And when I say emotionally, don't be walking around here thinking I'm some delicate flower and I'm weeping around the corner every five ten minutes. That's not what I mean by emotional. I just want to. I want a man to be vulnerable to me just as much as I'm going to be vulnerable with him. So. Now, yeah, if you're gonna be with somebody though, like I said, I'm I ain't the super emotional guy just because mm-hmm. like again, my experience is my mom wasn't that and my dad wasn't that. So it's like it's a little hard for me to get to like, yo, this is the problem with this, that, or whatever. But ultimately, I wouldn't be with her if I couldn't have those conversations with her. Mm-hmm. If like I said, if I felt like I needed to call Jackie to talk about that, then we got a problem. Mm-hmm. If I feel like you have a shortcoming in any way if it's like she won't do X, Y, or Z. We ain't got to do it every day, but if it's anything that I want, a need or desire, you better be meeting it because guess what the next girl, the next guy is going to say? Is that all you want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, 
that's how they get in. Ah! Yeah. You give them the answers to the test and then wonder how they pass. To a certain extent. However, one person cannot fulfill like every single need that you have. I don't think that that's realistic. Why not? I, I don't, because people... There's going to be things that you, you know, like, enjoy, or want to inquire about or something like that, that your partner is just mm -hmm. not set up to also like or enjoy or want to inquire about. So there are going to be some things that you might have to either go without or pull back on because, and I'm not, I'm saying that there's some conversations that you can have with a partner that's open that they'd be like, mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I might try that. So you do need that. You do need a partner yeah. that is open and willing to try certain things, right? But there are going to be some things, desires that you have. It may not even be sexually. I'm just talking mm -hmm. about, period. It might be traveling or something like yeah. that. That your partner really just does not or will not do. So I just feel like there are going to be certain things that so one person cannot fulfill every single passion, desire, you know, whatever that you have. Yeah. Well, that's what you so got. I would, that's what you got friends well, for. No, exactly. Is, I'm not gonna. Yes, I'm not gonna talk to my man about some of the things I talk to you about, Nicole. You know, men don't want to hear right. certain shit because trust me, they're gonna. He's gonna be like, "Girl, you better call your homegirl." Let her right. have a conversation. Right. Oh, see, you still need to. You still need to be an individual inside yeah. y'all being a mm -hmm. collective. But there shouldn't be like, for example, like you said, all right, Nicole won't fly to China. I hate track. I hate long flights. But as my, if you're gonna be my wife, my woman, or we're gonna be in a long term situation, mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to call Tyrone to go take this flight with you, because this is not something that I'm willing to do. I don't. We don't need to go every year, mm -hmm. but at some point we need to do this because it's something that you want. Once you get to be with somebody like that, like you have to be willing, strong enough to be weak, strong yeah. enough to be vulnerable, yeah. flexible, because that's how relationships work. In any relationship, like your girl might want to talk and you don't want to talk. Well, guess what? If you won't talk to her, somebody else will. And mm -hmm. not just like you saying, like the girl girl dynamic where y'all talking about something on a relatable uh, or like mm -hmm. on an equal footing because y'all both going through the same thing, been through the same thing. We talk about just general everyday shit or like you mm -hmm. just, it might, it doesn't even always have to be just like, I want to have a threesome and she don't. No, we're not talking about nothing right. like that. Like <laughs> it has to be though, like, you're flexible enough or willing enough to do it because you love this person. Mm -hmm. You got to make yourself, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable sometime in a relationship. Because we've, we've, we've all been to a party we didn't want to be to because we was there with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And as long as, as long as you was on the Wi-Fi, your phone didn't die on you, you was cool, but you just was here. <laughs> you didn't need anything else but be here. We've all been in that situation. Baby showers and all that shit you didn't want to go to. I can't. I hear you. I, I I think, yeah. I don't know. I, I hear you. I just I don't think that one person can can like yeah. meet that need though. I re I really don't. Uh, that I, sounds like we. That sounds like we might have an episode. Well, I, I, well, I know we <laughs> all can topic. agree on that we do need each other, and but we obviously we want to need each other for different things, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not going to, I I don't think I've ever said I don't need a man, you know, but I, I know I need a man, but like Nicole said, the reason why I'm going to need him is not the same reason reason why she's going to need him, so yeah. Nah, yeah, right. copy that. I'm not. I wasn't even looking for like a blank statement mm -hmm. type answer because there is no blank statement answer. Yeah. Uh, episode seventy nine last week, Unc said. When he got married, nobody gave him the book or told him like how all of it was supposed to work. I'm like, it ain't no book. It ain't no manual. Mm -hmm. There is no one size fits all. When you go to the mm -hmm. store and buy a hat, they got hats in different sizes because everybody don't wear the same size. So yeah. you can't you can't look for the how to answers for shit that's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh but ladies, I appreciate y'all coming on. I've been trying to get y'all on for a while. I like know. I said, Miss Nicole, nice to finally meet you. <laughs> same here. But uh, that was Same episode here. 80. I appreciate y'all coming on. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.